I was faxing him. There was no such thing as email at the time. So I kept sending him faxes, reminding him that I was there when he came to write the prequels. And uh, I think he got so fed up of buying fax paper, eventually he agreed to give me a part. I knew exactly what I was going to do and the significance of that character. And it was very, uh, it made it so much easier to, you know, get focused and, and know that every step you take as the character has meaning. Uh, for the cinema goers, they know exactly what to expect when Chewbacca comes from behind a corner and looks and, and uh, you know, it's, it's such a, it works every time and it's such a, such a magic trick. Um, and I'm wearing these huge boots and trying to like walk around without looking down because we also realize, you know, when you're wearing this mask, any extraneous movement is really distracting. And so, and she as a character is so focused and so simple and so still. But whenever you got a few Mandalorians in a room together, there were going to be helmets bonking together. There were so many times when we were sitting down at the table and we would both be like leaning forward and our helmets would hit or like we couldn't actually hear each other. And so you're having this very dignified moment and then you just have to go, wait, what? Um, I was dropping my tools all the time. Like the, the armorer like puts on a really good show. But when she's on her own, sometimes I think she has some some clumsy moments. There's a point where the Ewoks set up a tripwire for one of the uh, chicken walkers as it goes past. And the rope kind of catches around the chicken walker's leg. And as he walks, the, the line of Ewoks holding onto it gets dragged along. On the other end of that rope were as many crew as they could gather, kind of pulling on the rope. And I was at the end of the rope, so I would stand up, basically, grab the rope, and immediately I stood up, it would be pulled again. I'd fly through the air and then be dragged along in the dirt. This scene was a huge, a big, there was loads of um, pilots there uh, being briefed for a battle sequence. That's what it was. And the character, now some of you may know who this was, and I can't remember, will look like a large lobster, huge kind of lobster man. Um, and anyway, he was addressing the troops, as it were. In Ad the Admiral Akbar was that character. I think you're right. right. Well done. And he's addressing the troops, as it were, the pilots, to go on. So he... <laughs> He, we shoot this sequence, they shout cut, and Mark marched onto the set and shouted at everyone, do you realize you've just been addressed by a prawn salad? <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. It was just brilliantly funny. Are you kidding me? You don't need anything to influence your decision other than two words, Star Wars.